Wow, it is a, it's a really windy day here. There are people mowing outside. There are so many noises like I cannot control and it's just, <laughs> it's a bummer. So sorry if there's weird noises coming in. We are going to do a video today that you guys have requested. So I decided on Instagram the other day to have you sort of request videos that you want to see on my channel. And this was the most requested one. I was kind of shocked actually because I didn't think people were into these videos. Like I just always did them for fun. I didn't think it was something that I guess people wanted to see, but the sketch with me videos were highly requested <laughs> when I did that. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're doing a sketch with me. I kind of want to practice anatomy a little bit. So we're gonna do that in today's video. And you guys can sketch along. This is going to be a longer video. I kind of feel like doing a longer video today, I don't know. You guys wanna talk and live draw? We haven't really done that in a while. I kind of like doing that with you guys, like, you know, me do my little sketchy things, you guys whip out your sketchbook, do your little sketchy things. It's a fun time. I am using reference images from pexels.com. Pexels? Yeah, that's how you say it. That's not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> it's just where I go to get royalty-free reference photos. And then, yeah, like if I need a model or something, yeah, wow, this is looking really bad. <laughs> uh, my anatomy is really rusty right now, so uh, forgive me. We're gonna struggle through this together, though. I really want to improve my anatomy and like the flow of my pieces because, well, first of all, <laughs> I took quite a long break from drawing people. I think sometimes the whole use it or lose it thing is pretty applicable for art. I think I lost some, some uh, of what I used to be able to do. So we're just gonna practice things, you know? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Good thing we have an Eddie Racer. <laughs> just gonna redo that hand. I went through this like phase with which I didn't want to draw people for a while. And now I'm like, hey guys, let's let's draw people again. <laughs> Except that uh, some of my skills have waned a little bit. And I think it's good to tell you guys that, you know, because just because I do YouTube <laughs> does not mean my art is like perfect. I struggle. Oh, this little hand. I'm happy with the hand though. <laughs> Her head is like, what? What is going on here? Up there. Yeah. <laughs> We will take care of that later. So the picture I am using is like this girl who is holding an umbrella and she kind of actually looks like so craftastic. If you've ever watched her channel, she is so kind and she's really pretty. <laughs> okay, let's see. How do I want to draw this part of the body? I think I'm going to alter this picture a little bit. I just need a little bit of the pose here. I know how to do the hands, but I think we're gonna change the face and stuff. This hand here, we gotta do this hand. I guess I'm gonna make it a little cartoony. I don't know. I don't really know what mood I'm in. Just feeling experimental, guys. Do you guys ever do that? Like open your sketchbook and you just start drawing with zero plan? I think sometimes those are my best sketching times. Very little expectation is on me, so why not? I'm just gonna redo that whole hand. <laughs> this is how I struggle, guys. I think I'm just gonna alter the hand and do what feels more right to me because this isn't looking the greatest. <laughs> there we go. Okay, her head is having some issues. So we'll take care of that. <laughs> yeah, let's get a face on this. I'm actually kind of shocked that there is no face on this. Ah, decapitated. Can make some plants growing out of that. I think if we give her like a softer chin, make her head go like this, it'd be better. Right? Right. And I don't know what we're gonna do for the hair, so let's just leave that for a second. Maybe make her smile some more. Because in the picture, she just looks curious. I haven't decided what medium <laughs> I want to use for this picture either. 
So that'll be fun deciding. Oh, no, don't like those lips. I erase so much in my sketchbook, but that's okay. You know what, I think I might actually do this little palette thing. Let's see, get this nose going. Oh, we could do like a little button nose. Some big eyelashes. We're gonna cartoonify this now. Start altering some things. Oh yeah. Eyebrows. This is really actually therapeutic for me because I've been a little stressed over some YouTube videos that I'm trying to like coordinate with other people or like with things I want to do but maybe they're a little bigger so I have to like really plan for them. So it's been a little rough lately <laughs> but this is really nice. Okay I want to give her like a bob instead of the reference photo because I just think it looks so cool to have oh my goodness look at that wave going like some big old thing I don't know if I'm gonna keep that oh that's obnoxious <laughs> all right no we won't do that wave it like that Ooh, I like the movement on that Ooh, we could do like one of those like asymmetric cuts oh my word look at that and then it can like oh yes 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 to all of that girl we have that done the umbrella is going up behind her. Now, it might go off the page just a little bit, but that's okay. Guys, like, I didn't realize how much I just needed this. I have been really, really wanting to, like, just sit down and sketch in my sketchbook. And I've been traveling quite a bit lately, which, no surprise there, that's, I feel like that's my life. But, um, usually I sketch a lot when I travel. And surprisingly, I have not had a chance to do that the last couple times. It's just been a lot more things happening. It feels good to get back into my sketchbook. So I have a question of the day for you guys, since we're on that topic. How often do you guys sketch? Like in your sketchbook or just like on a napkin or just anything like that? Because let's be realistic here. I know there's like that push that you should sketch every single day, but even me as a full-time artist, I don't have time for that. I have to take a couple days a week just to like market my artwork and stuff and oh, scan my stuff and ship orders. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot harder for me to be able to sketch every single day. So anyway, if you don't sketch every day, don't be down on yourself. I think that's okay. I definitely don't sketch every day and it's all right. Should I do a bigger smile? Oh, I think maybe I should. Ooh, I should do like a flowy skirt on her. Like something flowier. Wait, the wind is blowing this way, right? Yes, we should do. <gasps> yeah, we could do like her skirt is blowing in the wind. Good, because I was really proud of that little curve I did <laughs> on the back of her body. I like longer skirts, so that's what she's gonna wear because that's what I usually wear. <laughs> So yeah, okay, let's see, her dress. I want it to, man, I don't know what I want the top to look like. Maybe she can wear like a sleeveless dress. Maybe she's a bridesmaid or something, I don't know. <laughs> I was just a bridesmaid in a wedding. Actually, I was the matron of honor. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> okay, what are we, how are we gonna shade this? All right, I have these fine liners. I have some Posca pens. Dude, these fine liners are really good. I just got them in that palette packs box. It's going in my art bag, for sure. It would be kind of fun to like do this with Posca pens. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Should we do it? Should we? Maybe her skin tone and watercolor. Oh, <gasps> yes! I have some Arteza watercolors that we can use. <laughs> Let's make a skin tone. Ooh, this is more olive than I had hoped, but that's okay. The Posca skin tone is okay but I kind of want her skin to be a little more muted because the Posca one is so saturated. <laughs> so hopefully this gives the effect that I want. By the way, I think I want to do a big coloring page bundle in my shop. So if you guys would like that and you're interested, I would love to hear, I guess, existing pieces that you would like turned into coloring pages. Or do you want me to surprise you with a bunch of new artwork that's exclusively for coloring pages? Let me know, because I think that's going to be launched in June or July. I would really, really love to do that soon. It's like been on my goal list for months, and I'm ready to do it. <laughs> I just got to thinking about that, because I was like, ooh, line art. <laughs> That'll be fun. What else should we do while that's drying? I think 
like her hair. I kind of want a really exotic color scheme for her hair. Like, oh, we should do purple, guys. I'm, I'm down for that, okay? I am so down for that. I think dark purple, and then we can lighten it up with these two colors. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, guys, this is gonna be fun. Yes, I think we picked a good shade. <laughs> Experimenting with stuff is so fun. Dude, it is so windy here today. It is Thursday. By the time you see this, it'll probably be Saturday. But let me know if you guys had a really windy week where you are, because dude, my trees outside are like going bonkers. If you want to know what sketchbook I'm using, I get this question a lot. Um, it's an ELO sketchbook. It's almost full, guys. A tour should be coming soon. I think you've seen a lot of the stuff in this sketchbook, but there are some gems that I have not shared. I'm excited to show you those ones. <laughs> it might be like half and half of like seen versus things you haven't seen yet, so. I'm excited to start a new sketchbook after this one, just for like a clean slate. I don't know, I always look forward to that once I get to a certain point in my current sketchbook. If you're sketching along with me, I wanna know what you're drawing, so you should tell me. Or just let me know what you're doing along with me. Are you doing homework? Are you cleaning your house? Or are you procrastinating cleaning your house? Or are you procrastinating on your homework? Ooh, should I do purple eyes too? Uh, yes. You know, I'm gonna block in color. Let's do that. Okay, this is gonna be a dreary, rainy day, and she is gonna be this, like, ray of sunshine. So I'm gonna do... <laughs> I just really wanted to obnoxiously shake that. I'm gonna do a dark blue background. You'll see why soon. Your lady's got plans! Let's start this. Ooh. Look at how saturated this blue is. This is turning into a, like a legit piece up in here. I just wanted to practice anatomy. Ooh, I have another question for you guys. I like to touch on this topic at various points through the year because I know things change and I know the answer changes depending on what type of year or what type of year on the time of year, but I want to know what time frame of videos you like, I guess. <laughs> do you enjoy longer videos or do you enjoy shorter ones? Because I, I usually do videos that are between 15 to 18 minutes, but the last couple videos I was like, you know what, summer's coming, I'm gonna try to shorten my videos a little bit so I've been shooting for like the 10 to 12 minute range and it actually did really bad for me. <laughs> Let me know what you prefer. What do you tend to click on? I mean, I'm a binger. I really like the 20 to 30 minute videos personally, <laughs> but I don't know if I am that interesting. So that's why today's video is a little bit longer because I mean, this is like the time range that I would watch. I don't know. I'm just having fun in today's video though, so. Guys, I'm left-handed. I should have done this side first, so like I would. <sighs> that left-handed struggle, yo. Oh, you know what, you know what? I'm gonna do a magic trick. You see this, you see this? All right, it's gonna be done in. Okay, I just colored in the blue background some more. It is currently drying, so we are going to do some highlights on the hair. See how that goes. Alrighty, we got this lighter purple. Oh, girl. Wow, this is like very much <laughs> a different style than what I'm used to. This is fun. We're gonna do a bright yellow umbrella. This will come together soon. I know it's looking like a hot mess right now. Y'all just gotta be patient. Okay. So I want this umbrella to be like really colorful and maybe like floral and bright because it's gonna be raining around her which we will see soon. Okay, let's do this. It's gonna, it's got like a glowing edge to it. Ooh, this is nice. Just trying to blend this a little bit before it all dries. <laughs> I've been really enjoying the whole Posca pen thing lately. It's been trending on YouTube. Um, I credit Casey Golden for starting that. <laughs> this piece is definitely 
giving me spring vibes because it has been very rainy here lately. Well, the last two days have actually been quite nice, but before that, <laughs> we had quite a bit of rain. Let's see, I want to do like water droplets falling this way along with the movement of her skirt. So I'm gonna start down here. We're just gonna do a bunch of them, these big drops, and then I'm gonna go in with another color and do <laughs> some more. This really made things start to pop. I'm excited now. I kind of like the idea of a pink dress. Kind of fits the vibe here, like she's all bright and happy in this dark, gloomy rainstorm. Ooh, this one is running low. <laughs> this is the one that I use to decorate a lot of my bubble mailers and stuff when people order from my shop. I love to decorate like my mail and I love to do it with Posca pens. If it's a bubble mailer, if it's like an envelope or something. I'll just like use stamps and doodle fun stuff. Oh my goodness, maybe it's not running low. It just inked everywhere. <laughs> Don't soak through the paper, there's a good sketch on the other side. Help! This is what I get for not going in order in my sketchbook. <laughs> Please don't soak through. I have not done like a traditional video like this, I guess, in quite some time because I have been changing up my channel a little bit and I'm trying to make it a point to show my face in like pretty much every video because I think it's important to like relate with my viewers even if I'm just saying hi for like a couple seconds which I'm not doing in this video and it feels weird um, but I really like to connect with everybody for just even a second and just talk about my art or what we're about to do kind of thing. Feels really weird to just be doing this chill kind of thing. But it also feels good. Brings back some old days memories. Except I didn't really do live videos like this in the old days. This is like as close as I will get to a live stream. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm a live stream kind of person. I'm an introvert. Yeah, ladies, an introvert. Okay, lip color. What should we do for that? Ooh. I'm gonna say this neutrally light pink, maybe. Oh, I don't know. That that might be too light. If it was raining this hard outside, I do not think I'd be standing outside with a dress and an umbrella. This is really fun, guys. Thank you for requesting this video. I think it was like the therapeutic thing that I didn't know I needed, and now, now I'm just really happy, so we're good. Ooh, I should like shade the face a little bit. I recently got the um, Karen Dash colored pencils, but I said in that video that I would keep using my Prisma colors, and I am, because I still really like them. Shade under that, um, give her some like sun-kissed shoulders even though it's raining, because that makes sense, obviously. Ugh, ugh, I just touched something that has not dried yet. I have this cool idea for it, where it's like a bunch of happy like polka dots and stuff, so. I always like the polka dot, rainbowy, happy looking umbrellas outside. Well, it is a new day. <laughs> I kind of stopped filming because I had to go somewhere yesterday. So, let's start outlining stuff today. It's all dry now. And then I'm gonna touch up some details after. <gasps> you know what? Let's add some uh, fun colors to this umbrella. I think I'm gonna do like teal. Oh yeah, I was gonna do like a light yellow yesterday and here I am doing teal now. We can still do light yellow if we want. So. I have actually been kind of struggling with feeling inspired lately. So I've been pretty strapped for time lately. There's been a lot of like weddings and just other events that my husband and I have had to like travel out of town for. And every time life gets like really busy like this, I've had to do like smaller projects because <laughs> it's really hard to do big projects when you're that busy. 
but it makes me like it really really makes me want to do big projects it like ignites something within me like oh I really want to do art so lately I've just really been wanting to do a lot of bigger pieces <laughs> like bigger than this obviously but I haven't been able to so I'm really really excited for next week because I have set aside like three days where I have plans you know I'm gonna make plans to not make plans <laughs> and finally delve into some of these larger projects and what I mean by that is I do the creatures of peace acrylic paintings and stuff like that I really really want to delve back into that let me know down below how you cope with creating art on a busy schedule. Like what do you choose to do, I guess? Like how do you manage your time constraints in your creative life? Do you just stop doing art or does it also make you just really want to create? Let me know in the comments. I love just chit chatting when I sketch. Um, like if I were to have a friend here right now, we would probably just be like going back and forth about this stuff. So sorry I have so many questions for you guys. That's just how I roll when I sketch with people. <laughs> it would probably be like at a coffee shop though. I don't actually know if I like the light yellow on this umbrella at all. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this one minimal. So this is my game plan. Ooh, you know what? Let's Let's do some more highlights in the hair before we do what I was gonna mention. Some other like dream projects I have. I really, really want to do some like portraiture with my new colored pencils that I did a video on recently. I've been loving them by the way. I've had a couple comments asking me about them. They're like my dream pencils. <laughs> it's amazing. What we're gonna do next is just outline everything and bring it to life and then we're going to examine it afterwards and see what other things it might need. <laughs> this is like the fun stage to the piece because we're going to add a lot of contrast. There we go. Alright, is this teal dry? Yeah. There we go. That looks good. Her brows need some work. We're going to work that up. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> she looks like a pig. I need to fix her nose. Ignore, ignore. We gotta let that dry and then come back later to fix it. Oh, man. This is why you experiment in your sketchbook, because if things go wrong, it's okay. I get so much anxiety doing line art. It's like kind of ridiculous. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that before, but like line art gives me so much anxiety. So right now I'm just gonna do basic lines and then I'll go in and change the thickness of a couple of them just for funsies. Oh, by the way guys, I just dispersed my Patreon rewards. So if you're a patron, you can go over there and get your digital prints and if you're a premium patron, you can go look on one of my recent videos and your shout out will probably be there in the description. I think it's on the Instagram controls what I draw video. I think I did the shout outs on that one. Anyway, just thought I would let you know. I recently did that. If you don't support me on Patreon, that is okay too. I do not expect that. I am just happy you support me here. But it's something a little fun and extra that I do. It's really fun doing this like fine liner over the Posca pen because it doesn't reactivate the Posca pen at all. And it really, uh, the texture that the Posca pen leaves on the paper is really ideal for these fine liners. What are these called again? Uh, fine liner graphics by Marabu. <laughs> I really like these. They're like one of the nicest fine liners I've ever used. Okay, as for some other stuff, let's, I want to make her nose really rosy. All right, I decided to fix her face a little bit and give her more of a cheekbone because I accidentally took it away earlier. <laughs> 
and it looks more dimensional now. I'm happy with that. And she looks happy too! Yay! Alrighty, thank you for watching my little Pasca pen doodle, the sketch with me kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you felt like you could sketch along if you do enjoy these longer sketch with me sorts of videos, let me know because most of you on Instagram requested this. This is like what everybody was requesting. I mean, I would say over 50% of the requests that I asked about the other day were a sketch with me video. So yeah, it was really fun to just go back to my old roots and do a really simple video. I didn't even do all my fun little camera angles on this video because I just wanted to keep it simple and to the point. So hopefully you enjoyed this <laughs> and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye guys.